My name is Bernie Reddington and I'm one of the technology coordinators at Action for Blind People. And so what I do is I go out and demonstrate um, uh, specialist equipment to people, things like talking computers, um, talking um, a, a speech software and magnification software, basically anything which is, is, is technic technical sort of related, um, we'll go out and, and train and, and show people. Often it's about people not actually knowing what's out there, often they're very new to sight loss, so it's not natural. You don't come with a goodie bag of uh, information when you've lost your sight, you don't come with a guide dog and a white stick and a talking computer in, in a bag that you know how to use, so often there, there, are, there are several layers of, of learning. So once you've actually learned your, your basic IT skills, then you've got to understand how the uh, technology, the special technology like speech and magnification actually works with that IT. And then you have to decide what you actually want to do with that computer. And uh, more often than not, um, from, from my point of view, I, I love the internet. It's absolutely opened the world to me in terms of uh, getting involved with things, communities, um, you know, communicating with family, Facebook, and all that kind of thing. So I really want to be out there, and actually, it's a fantastic resource for people who are who are not able to to uh, interact, you know, you know, on a social basis in other, any other way. Now, I'd like to ask you all: if you were to um, go to a nice, brand new hotel, and you didn't know your way around, where is the first place that you would go in that hotel? Reception, Reception exactly. And that is exactly what we get as, as a, a blind or partially sighted person or any, any person using the net. When you open up the first page that you found for a site, that is your reception to me. And so the attitude and the, the uh, services and the things that that person at reception can tell you makes a decision for you, helps you make that decision whether you stay or whether you go. Now, if I wanted to find your reception... You wouldn't hide your reception at the back of the hotel in the, in the laundry room. And that's often <laughs> what can happen with, with some web websites. So if you're using a speech um, or, or magnification program on your computer and your login screen is right at the bottom right-hand corner of the screen, you've got to actually plod through the whole page. Because the way that <coughs> JAWS, which is the, the speech program I've got on here, or uh, Zoom text, uh, you know, or something similar which magnifies the, the screen works. It's not like scanning the screen as a sighted person does. So you're actually looking at whole screen and you zoom in straight away on what you want. It's like looking through a tiny little tube of paper. So all you can actually see is the thing that you're actually on top of. So if I go to the top of this screen and... Um, top of file, blend. Okay. And to move through this page, I would use different techniques. So either like the tab. Add. Add. It doesn't want to do no it. Oh, thank Press you. Don't, don't you love him? Control panel. Alt tab. Mid desk. Alt tab. It's because they've been Mid playing. Alt <laughs> tab. Okay. There we go. Control none lock off. That's the wrong one. Sorry. Control none lock off. Oh, I'm doing the wrong one. Score must match. Right. So we're right at the top of the page. So to move through this page, add my back left fair add pages slash flag dashes link graph add colon add EU link. So you can imagine how tedious that is to actually move through a whole page just by you just plodding through that. Link. So if you're login or something really important that you really want, sort of straight away is right at the bottom of that page, and there are 399 links on this particular page. You can imagine how long that would actually take, even if you started, if you, you knew this one quite well and you started at the bottom and moved up, you'd have to tab 200 times to get to the one that you want right in the middle if you didn't know it very well. So one fantastic way to make uh, things more accessible is actually to have headings on the page, sensible headings. Now, this, this particular website... There are no headings on this page. Oh, that isn't good. That is very sad from my point of view, especially when it's buying clothes or shoes. That is not good news at all. Oh. John Lewis vertical now, on this particular hat. site, now if I want to find out where I am on John Lewis, for example, um, I could 
go I write the top of the page right so it gives me a nice indication that I've actually got to the right page right at the top which is fabulous most popular products heading level three so, Apple iPad Air, Apple A7, Apple iPad Mini, Apple A5, Apple iPad There's a lot of apples Apple on here all of a sudden, isn't it? Apple iPad, John Lewis, Egyptian, Cotton Towel, Heading Level 4. <laughs> <laughs> You th I guess you're finding out all my secrets now. So, um, But the, the, the thing is, it's actually telling you things that, that you actually really need to know or you'd like to know. And so say, for example, I can use JAWS in a way that, that I can actually get up a list of all the links on this page, which can actually make my life a lot easier. So, so we've got a nice link. Right, we've got a nice list of links up there. And so if I say I want to go to women's things. W, watch the classics. <laughs> w, watch our Christmas TV at W, wedding and gift list. W, Just keep pressing. W, women. There we are. Now that could have done, to be honest, that could have done with being higher up on, on that, that thing because that would, I would imagine, would be one of the commonest things that people would actually look for. Enter. So we go in there, price match codes, so you can apparently buy women, uh, John Lewis. <laughs> Links with electricals. Our electrical women. See, coats and jackets. Right, coats Enter. and jackets. Coats and jackets visited <laughs> link. Okay. So the lovely thing about this particular coats website... Coats and jackets left yes, their list. Yes, we, we know. Um, the lovely thing about this particular website is they don't actually, very often, you do get the odd glitchy one, but more often than not, they will actually have a description with the link. So it will say coats and jackets. Now, it might be a picture of coats and jackets, but they don't actually use that graphic as the link, which can be a, a massive problem with some websites because they, they will actually have a, a graphic. And all that appears to, to, to me or, or to anyone else using a screen reader is... One two eight seven three seven nine dash dash seven zero zero zero. You know, you think, do you know what? I, I really can't be bothered. I'm going away. <laughs> um, so actually, to, to label the links really well is is really essential because, as Colin said, the last thing you want to hear is is this particular home, little message. There. <laughs> click here. Now, what am I clicking? That I have absolutely no idea. Enter. Home link. So. Link graphic head teacher. So head teacher. Jesus told us in right. life. In life. So it's actually, I think, right. Land. This is one of these web. This is actually my old school school website, and actually, it's the school that my children go to. It has a parents page on here. I can't even get to it. Land for information. Well, it takes me about 10 years to get to it. Oh, that's, that's probably a bit of a lie, to be honest. <laughs> but, but every time they send me information, I actually beg them to send it to me on email because the idea is that the parents' portal actually makes it easier for me to access the children's work and their reports and everything like that, but it isn't necessarily accessible. So that's something that, that, that actually you would have thought with educational establishments as well. You'd like to, to think that, that you would be sort of considering access at a very, very early stage. So that's a, bit, that's a bit disappointing. But then to actually be an exemplar website, I think McDonald's, which I thought Colin would really be pleased about. <laughs> <Control> Control <dog. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> Coats and Jack trainee manager Look at that. Our crew member jobs at McDonald's. You see, I'm looking for another job at the moment. <laughs> so I thought that, that it'd be quite a sort of career um, opportunity actually working for McDonald's. But what I was really pleased about with McDonald's website here. Trainee manager, right. local bar crew member. That's right at the top of the page. It says exactly what it says. It, it, it's, it's got in the tin. And the headings that it's using are... Why choose us? Heading level Why three. Why choose us? Jobs by category, heading level two. Jobs by location, heading level two. Jobs by groups, heading level right. two. Now, there's, there's a few links, uh, sorry, headings on this particular page, but it's not overwhelming. There are not sort of like... You know, some of the sites I looked at were like 47 headings and, you know, 52 links. And that might actually makes a heading completely pointless. So you can get into too much detail, far too much sort of information on a page. And that actually makes life extremely hard for, for a, 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 you know, it, it, it's, it's pointless really because you're still having to sort of use another three keystrokes to actually get where you are. 
because the idea of actually using the screen reader means that you're actually using the, the keyboard as your mouse. You're not using the mouse at all. So instead of the screen, you're using the voice, and instead of the, the, um, the mouse, you're using the keyboard. Um, yep, yeah, lovely, thank you. <laughs> um, so uh, to actually have headings that make sense and actually mean something to the people that they're directed at, um, in a nice logical order, um, to have links that are uh, nicely labelled and, and not just graphics. Say if you're putting a PDF document on there which uh, maybe have a menu or some, some lovely piece of information, if you can consider to, to make sure that goes into a, uh, a, a text format that can actually be read rather than a scanned picture because the, the voice will, will try and read that but it will actually see it as a graphic so it will just give you a load of gobbledygook rather than, um, than actually a, 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 a the actual menu. And I think that's quite hard for people to understand that actually something that, that looks, you know, they can see the writing on it, but all the, the voice recognises is a load of pixels. It doesn't actually recognise it as text, so it's got to be in the right kinds of formats. Um, and just basically to organise the page in a, in a, in a sensible manner, to have, have anchors and uh, landmarks and, and lists and things like that that we can actually use have things like edit boxes right and and particularly having a search right sure, sure. Um, <laughs> have a have the search uh, buttons and the things that are really important right at the beginning of the page because if I wanted to find something in this room which was really important I'd want to find it near the door and not not uh, sort of somewhere hidden in the corner um, so so using those sort of things sensibly and those are just thought things they, they don't necessarily have to cost lots of money but the 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 voice recognition and um, uh, magnification users actually have very similar issues because they're actually looking at a very small amount of space at at one time now i haven't showed you uh, uh, magnification but one thing that we do need to consider is colors and uh, text size and that kind of thing which which sounds obvious but when we've got lots of fancy images and things like that going on on a screen, um, I think it's easy to forget that, um, that actually having a really busy screen, lots of things going on, lots of moving flash things and all kinds of stuff, it's actually really hard for someone to, to actually interpret when they're, they're actually using magnification. Um, and actually from a speech point of view, it, they can really get in the way. And I asked Colin a question this morning about macros and, um, and flash players and stuff like that. And she goes, oh, you just do control and Z to get rid of the macros. <laughs> but he is Professor Jaws, right? And I'm kind of representing the average person in the street who may have lost their sight and, and you know, they, they, they would be able to do the basics. They've probably taught themselves Jaws because they're not that many people training Jaws and, and that kind of assistive technology apart from us, um, and um, so they're not going to know what a macro is necessarily or, you know, what the effect is, and to be honest, it did confuse me a, a little bit because I'm just the average bird in the street, I'm not just, I'm just nothing special, so, um, so it, I think it's, it's about using those tools, and there are lots of resources online, um, I had a little look at a, a, a thing, um, I'd, all I put into the internet, into Google, was uh, difficulties with access with websites or something like that. And it brought up this thing by a, um, I don't know whether it was a blog or what it was, but it's a thing called Web Aims. And it had an absolutely superb um, page about um, accessing the internet. But it's in, it's in real people terms, do you know what I mean? It's not in, in real geeko terms, it's in, the, it's in actually understandable <laughs> sort of language. Which, but it's very, very sensible and it says that basically everything that I've, I've said tonight. So um, I hope that has helped you understand a little bit better the, the, the pros and cons of... But just to finish on, I must say that actually in my research and actually trying to find a really, really bad website, I really struggled. And I think that is a really good sign because I must say in the last year or so, things have improved a great deal. And I think people are finally actually understanding that, that, that um, access is very, very possible and actually very, very easy. <coughs> And, um, you know, I'm, I'm really pleased to, to have said that I, there weren't many that I could really break. So um, I'm finished, and um, I do apologise for the, uh, the technical hitches. Okay? Thank you. Thank you.